Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black Sea, and I have another video for you guys. We just got back from NFT New York City. It was a blast meeting some of you guys out there. And I want to take a quick look at the overall market for this video for you guys. Let's take a look at the overall Bitcoin prices. Let's take a look at Crowcoin. And let's take a look at where I think we're headed here because we did have quite a beautiful move to the upside in the crypto market over the past week. Uh, without further ado, let's hop into this video, guys. We are at 8,370 subscribers. And also, I do want to take a look at NFT New York City because, guys, there were some crazy, crazy things going on there. Uh, fo go follow me over on my Twitter at triple three black C, and you'll see some of this content that we had over there. Crypto Kip and I went out there, met some of you guys. It was a lot of fun. We went to the Clanosaurs event, which was very, very cool. I'm not sponsored by them, and any shape or form, I just really, really like what they're doing. And I think that a lot of other NFT communities and ecosystems and projects could learn a lot from them. Guys, they had, for the people that made it in, there was a line. Guys, we got there an hour and a half early, and there was a line, a line. And we had to wait another hour to get in. It was ridiculous. There's people wrapped around this building to get these basically NFT Pokemon cards, okay, guys? Let me tell you a little bit about this. It was incredible because when we got in, we got these booster packs right here, and inside of them, they had NFTs. And I'll, I'll make a, a more in-depth video about Klanosaurs in the future, but long story short, it was really, really cool. We had this they had this awesome venue. You went inside. You got these cool packs. Was, Elixir was given out, free merch, and it was basically just a good place to take pictures, talk with people. It was really nice. They had an open bar. Very, very cool stuff, guys. But it was really cool meeting a lot of you guys out there. Let's hop into some of these charts, guys. We had Bitcoin up. Bitcoin is still above $30,000. Crazy to think, you know, when we were out there, we were talking with a lot of people. We were talking with a lot of people. We were talking about how it's crazy that, you know, we have all this crazy news about the Federal Reserve raising these rates, printing money at the same time. We have a 2024 election coming around the corner. We have regulation, and you know for a fact that cryptocurrency is, begin is becoming more and more of a political talking point. So during this 2024 election, we're going to be hearing about crypto every single day in the mainstream media. It's going to be very, very intriguing. And you couple that with the Bitcoin happening, Guys, is it bullish or bearish with all the craziness going on in this world where a lot of these superpowers of the world are ditching the U.S. dollar? Is it bullish or bearish for Bitcoin? Is it bullish or bearish for the cryptocurrency space? It's really, really hard to put your finger on it. However, there are so many stars that are aligning up in, in with this Bitcoin happening in around that time. I think that there's going to be a lot of fireworks, so we're going to have to keep a close eye on that. Bitcoin dominance, 46.5%. Ethereum broke $2,200 the other day, retraced back down to 2000 almost 2100 very, very happy to see that. But all in all, guys, we're on the right path here. We're on the right path here. I think we need some sideways action. I think it's about time for that. So be prepared for some altcoins to move up. Hopefully, hopefully, as long as liquidity doesn't get drained out or there isn't anything catastrophic that the Federal Reserve comes out and has to say. But I think it's time for us to trade sideways a little bit. Let's look over the Bitcoin chart because, guys, breaking we broke above 31000 for a point there. And right now, trading... Over 30,000, holding strong, is very bullish in my mind. Very, very bullish. I do think that the next target here is the $32,000 price level, which I have mapped out here, which we're very, very close to. If we keep getting these daily candle closes, moving our way to there, I'm bullish. I'm bullish. And as long as we stay above, in my opinion, 26500 it's bullish continuation, guys. I want to see some sideways price action, however. I will say that. I do want to see... Bitcoin trading to the side here, leading into this Bitcoin halving. Whether that's between 20,000, 25,000, and 50,000, or whether that's just 30,000 to 32,000 for literally 11 months, I want to see that. I want to see some accumulation. I want the, <clears throat> the greed on the fear and greed index to come down a little bit. And I think we're going to have a very, very special bull run around the corner and i'm very very excited to be here and be here with you guys during this bear market right now because the people that are around right now are going to be rewarded 
handsomely if you guys are accumulating the correct assets like Bitcoin and Ethereum throughout this bear market. You're going to be rewarded, especially if you've been around and you've been paying attention. You're going to be rewarded. Not financial advice, but just my two cents here. I'm buying Bitcoin. I'm buying Ethereum. And I'm holding it here, guys. I mean, Ethereum, Ethereum had its Shanghai upgrade. And everybody was saying, oh, it's going to dump. It's going to dump. But guys, it pumped. It pumped massively on the, on the news. People realized, wait, I can stake my money. And I know it's safe to be pulled out now. All right, I'm going to double down. And that's what happened. Very, very bullish things happening in the space right now. Let's take a look at Crowcoin because I know you guys love to see that. Guys, we did break above this channel. The Crowcoin stablecoin right here, as I like to joke around and call it, did break up to the upside. However, we did find ourselves back in this candle, and that is A-OK, -okay, guys. Just be patient. Like I said, Bitcoin dominance still needs to come up a little bit, in my opinion. I do want to see... Uh, a much larger move on Bitcoin leading into that Bitcoin happening, or maybe a little bit after the Bitcoin happening, before we see these really large moves on these other altcoins like Crowcoin. So be prepared for that, guys. Guys, if you like this type of content, please like this video, subscribe to the channel right now. Let's look over the S&P 500, because the S&P 500 is also making green moves so very very intriguing to see guys very very intriguing to see because we do know that the federal reserve is going to be coming out and talking relatively soon here and i'm very curious to see what they have to say because last time we had a little bit little 25 point basis rate point hike and you know a lot of people thought that they were not going to do anything people were even speculating that they were going to cut the rates i did not believe they were going to cut the rates however i did think that they we're in a spot where they potentially would do just nothing and just see what happens. But, guys, I do think that there's a spot here where they might have to start printing money again. I think that there is a good chance of that. I think there's a very, very good chance of that. So we're going to have to keep a close eye on what the Federal Reserve has to say. But there is bullish continuation on the S&P 500, which indicates to me that risk on asset rallies are around the corner. And we did see that with Ethereum. We did see that with Bitcoin. So we have to pay close, close attention. We did, we did come down a little bit on the overall market since the past day. But all in all, I mean, what's coming down half a percent when you came up 10% on the week. So it's very, very minimal. It's just a slight correction. And that's perfectly fine, guys. If you like this type of content, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. Please consider becoming a member on the channel. Go below this video. Click the join button. You get access to our custom emojis and loyalty badges they can use during our live streams every Tuesday and Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, as well as during our videos. And you get access to our private Discord, where you have NFT Alpha, NFT whitelist spot giveaways, trade signals, and more of a one-on-one -on -one community with CryptoKip and I. And we're also going to be adding much, much more, some DeFi strategies I'm super excited about. And you also get 10 additional entries each month to winning our loaded lion giveaway that we're giving away at 25,000 subscribers guys guys that's all i got thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye